This is question 24. College Board is asking with respect to the solution to this system of equations, x, y, the value of 3x plus 3y. And there's always several ways of solving a system of equations. In this case, and often when they ask for a peculiar expression like 3x plus 3y, there's a shortcut, a clever trick that they're testing for. Anytime they ask for something peculiar, look and see if there's a clever trick you can find quickly. In this case, if you subtract the second equation from the first equation, rather than doing what you normally do to solve, 7x minus 4x is 3x, negative 5y minus negative 8y is negative 5y plus 8y is positive 3y equals 4 minus 9 is negative 5. That's choice B. One step to find the solution. If you don't happen to see that trick, and you shouldn't be taking a whole lot of time looking for tricks on the SAT, you can also solve this using matrices. If you have the variables in the same order on the left-hand side, equals constants on the right, you can write this in matrix form as 7, negative 5, positive 4, 4, negative 8, positive 9. If you then take reduced row echelon form of that matrix, graphing calculator only, this is not worth the time to do it by hand, enter that matrix into your calculator, matrix, edit, it's 2 by 3, don't spend much time trying to remember the dimensions. If you type 3 by 2, which is wrong, you'll see that the shape is wrong, you can go back and fix it to 2 by 3. Enter 7, negative 5, 4, 4, negative 8, 9, quit out of matrix and then go back into matrix, matrix math. The math we want to do on this matrix is reduce row echelon form on my TI-83 or 84, similar options on other graphing calculators, and matrix A. You cannot type in bracket letter A, close bracket, you have to go to the matrix option for this to work. And it gives the reduced row echelon form is 1, 0, 0, 1, and the calculator will give it to you in fractions negative 13 over 36, negative 47 over 36. So I have, re let's rewrite this as an equation, as a system of equations. Since the 7 negative 5 came from 7x minus 5y, this is equivalent to 1x plus 0y equals negative 13 over 36, which is just x equals negative 13 over 36. And similarly, 0x plus 1y is just y equals negative 47 over 36. Adding x plus y, I get negative 37 over 36 minus 47, I'm sorry, negative 13 over 36 minus 47 over 36 is negative 60 over 36, which is negative 10 over 6. 3x plus y is negative 30 over 6 equals negative 5. So we can solve that by hand also. It's certainly easier and faster with the graphing calculator, but if you're using a scientific calculator exclusively, hopefully you've developed these matrix skills and you can find that answer also. I could also take a linear combination, perhaps four times the first matrix and negative seven times the second and add those to get y, substituting that y value and solve for x. But this is sufficient to have solved it two ways. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.